Hello bookish friends and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are starting another Days of My Life vlog. Uh, so it's Wednesday, April 3rd. It has been quite a week. Monday I work from home, got so much stuff done if you haven't seen the reset vlog i filmed that all in one day and got literally so much stuff done so go check that out and then tuesday i woke up got ready for work had like a sip of my greens and a sip of my coffee and instantly felt like i was gonna get sick to my stomach and i was like eh, it's whatever like i'll be fine probably just like maybe i needed water first in the morning i am driving to work i was supposed to go to the bronx and i get like 45 minutes into my drive and I was like I'm gonna like throw up like I literally feel like I'm gonna puke my brains out right now so I stopped at my one McDonald's that I have in New Paltz and just sat in the parking lot and I was like yeah I can't do this I have to go home so came home drove an hour back and when I got home went to the bathroom laid on the couch for a little bit and all of a sudden I started to feel like I was getting a fever and whenever I get a fever it always starts in my hips right so take my temperature 98.6 i'm good within 45 minutes i felt so much worse like within those 45 minutes it just like all hit me and i started to get really achy head chills head started hurting everything and i took my temperature and i was at 99.6 so within legit 45 minutes i got a fever and a complete illness so that was fun so I was down for the count yesterday, like literally taken out by whatever I had. It almost seemed like a 24 hour bug of some sort because I did get sick to my stomach, but only once and it was just rough. Like I pretty much just laid in bed all day yesterday. I took two little mini power naps and then I was asleep by 8.30. And I knew I had to be in Harriman for like a training that we were having at our DC. And I knew I had to be there by like 9.30, so I had to leave at like 7.45. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be so stressed out because I'm gonna feel like shit. At like 9.30 last night, Chris came upstairs with some vitamin C and a, like a little package of vitamin C and water and was like, just chug this. Just chug it, take it. And I was consistently taking Motrin and Tylenol every three hours. So I woke up this morning and I was like, okay, I feel good. I feel a million times better than yesterday, but when's it gonna come back and hit me? But you know how like, when you're sick, you feel better. You're like, okay, it's just because I just woke up. Like, the sickness will come. And so I'm driving to Harriman. I'm like, all right, I don't feel it yet. Like, try not to speak it into existence. Thankfully, I felt amazing all day. Like, complete turnaround from where I was yesterday, which is wild to me because yesterday I literally was like, oh, I'm in this for the long haul because I thought it was going to last a while. I thought I had, like, the flu, which I definitely had, like, a 12-hour flu or something. I don't know. It was so weird, but... Now it's Wednesday. I just got back from work. It's, what time is it? It's about 4.45. And honestly, I don't have that much to do. I told Chris he has to figure out dinner because I'm still like a little like oof, woozy. And I am going to sit in my little reading room and get some reading done. I am reading The It Girl by Ruth Ware. If you haven't seen my April TBR video, this was Chris's pick for me for the month of April. And he had everybody dying laughing when he chose his book. So he assumed that I wasn't going to read this book because every book he chooses, I usually never end up reading. And I was like, you know what? We're going to start the month off with Chris's pick. And the last book I read was, um, oh, what the hell was it? Uh, the Girl from Widow Hill by Megan Miranda. And freaking did not like that at all. It was terrible. So I was like, let's redeem ourselves with a good thriller hopefully i haven't read anything from ruth ware since i don't even know maybe 2016 2017 2018 when i went to nashville to see my sister i read the woman in kevin 10 and loved that so hoping i will love this one too don't really know much about it yet besides the fact that our main character hannah that's her name so hannah went to oxford met april april was like the it girl and then somehow some way hannah nope april ended up dead and I guess you don't really know who did it or they put somebody in jail who they think did it but they just found out so it goes back and forth between that time then and now but it's before and after so probably before and after the murder 
and in the now, the after the murder, it's like 20 years later, Hannah and one of her friends from back then, Will, are pregnant with their baby, and they just found out that the guy that they think killed their friend April has died in jail. So that's pretty much all I've gotten. I've literally only read 24 pages. We're going to hopefully make some progress today and tomorrow. So tomorrow is obviously Thursday, and apparently Albany is going to get a snowstorm. So we may have a snow day, and I just I can't even believe we're about to get snow again. It fucking blows my mind. Okay. Anyways, that was a six-minute clip of me talking. I think I'm going to go make some French press coffee so I have it for tomorrow. I'm not going to drink any coffee today because my stomach's still a little funky, but I think I'm going to make a French press so I can have that for the day and for tomorrow. And then I also have her cold brew packs, which you just put in water and I think let it sit for 24 hours. So I kind of want to do that too so I can have that tomorrow. Should have done that this morning because I think it's supposed to sit for 24 hours to get to like true potency, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to do that and then really all I'm going to do tonight is read and relax so I can give my body some time to decompress from whatever the hell happened to it yesterday. So I'll be back. Got to film it, but I got the cold brew going here and French press going here. We're going to try the early bird blend this time. So let's make this. freaking snow there's a decent amount of snow but regardless i want to try this cold brew coffee and make it oh fuck and yes i'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday don't judge it smells good oh shit i don't even remember which one i used see i don't like the taste of plain coffee i don't know how people just drink this but it's really like a little tea bag i love that super easy which one did i use use the social dog blend. There's this one. I don't know what the flavor is though. I don't know. I'm going to make this coffee and then I'm going to edit and post my reset vlog that needs to go live today. So let's go. checking in for a quick update i just thought of two really good prompts to add to my tbr jar and they're gonna be they're gonna say pick four prompts and go to the library or go to the bookstore because i had this really good idea of like okay i pick four prompts and then i go pick out those four books at the library or i do it at the bookstore but i might do two at the library like pick two prompts and go to the library and put two of them in there because i really am trying not to buy books so Let's do pick two prompts and head to library. I'm gonna do it twice so I have a higher chance of picking it. And then this one we can do pick four prompts and head to library. The reason I'm not putting one with the bookstore yet is because I like legitimately do not wanna buy books right now because I have so many that I need to read and get read. But I did do a pretty good job last month with my like physical TBR because I unhauled a lot of books. I unhauled like 30 books. So I did pretty good with that, but I am making myself some lunch and then I'm going to give you a reading update when I go back out to the couch. It has been a weird day because I've been like on my phone working all day in between doing other things. I did officially pick the winner for the giveaway 
and that box is good to go. I just have to mail it out tomorrow. The winner was Autumn George here on YouTube. She lives in Australia, so I get to ship it internationally, which is actually kind of cool. You know, a lot of giveaways don't do like stuff outside of the U.S., but it's my one year booktube anniversary, so screw it. I got her thing ready to go. I did go to Hobby Lobby with my mom earlier and got a frame for the thing I needed. I just didn't film it because I didn't feel like bringing my camera. But now, a couple hours later, what time is it? It's almost 4 p.m. And I am now officially like done for the day. Like I'm gonna eat some food and get some reading done. I have a really good reading update for It Girl by Ruth Ware because I read over 100 pages yesterday. So reading update will be right after this. Just wanted to put these two prompts in my TBR jar. Okay, I have five minutes until my little food is done cooking. I put chicken nuggets and french fries in there, but, but I read to page 142 and this doesn't have chapter numbers, so I don't know, but I read this much last night. I started on page 24, so I read a lot yesterday and i'm really enjoying this it's a little bit of like a slower pace thriller and i think the reason why i'm okay with it is because you're slowly learning learning things throughout and you can kind of piece together what's happening whereas like the last thriller i read by mega miranda widow hills that was just like nothing 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 and then six pages something happened at least with this you're kind of like going back and forth in timelines at the same time so like you're in the after of this murder and in the after hannah is like remembering these before times so it's like she is in the present thinking of oh i remember when me and april did this and then you go to the before the murder and you live out that scene as it was happening so i think i like it because of that aspect whereas with widow hills you didn't see any of the before like you just heard about it and you knew like the main storyline but you never like actually visualized what happened so I think that's why I'm liking this book. I would love to get to the halfway point, which is page 210-ish, but I think if I can read as much as I did yesterday, I think I can read at least 100 pages today, but I'm not gonna force it on myself because I'm done forcing myself to like sit down and read and get X amount of pages done. But I am really enjoying this. Definitely gonna continue and that's my little reading update. I'm gonna keep it brief. I am really enjoying this, but I don't wanna talk too much about the plot. It's basically about this girl, Hannah, who went to Oxford. She pretty much came from nothing, like a middle-class working family. And obviously Oxford is like all rich, freaking preppy kids. So she goes and she is roommates with April, who seems like she has it all. She's got money, luxury things, all these fancy items, but her parents aren't really like in the picture. And she just seems kind of like buku almost. <laughs> like she's the best friend you can ever have until you say no to her or something doesn't go her way. And then she just seems like really scary which I, 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 I don't know I love that trope so it's working in my favor and you're also following their friend group when they were in college in the before parts and Hannah and Will are now married and pregnant and Hannah obviously is April's best friend slash roommate and Will and April knew each other before they went to Oxford and they are boyfriend and girlfriend at this point. So I think it's kind of the thing where like Hannah always had a crush on Will, like from day one, you knew that Hannah had a crush on Will and she talks about it in here and talks about how she like really likes him. And you think that Will likes her too, but she he just goes for April for whatever reason. Like one chapter ended in like, I think I stole her life. Like if that never happened back then, would things be different? So I am really enjoying this. I'm gonna continue reading and I'll be back later with some sort of update or I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. I'm at the point where I'm not doing like all daily vlogs like I'm just filming when I want to and when I feel like it and so who knows when I'll be back It is now Friday, April 5th. I still can't believe it's April. And I still can't believe it's April and it freaking snowed yesterday. It literally didn't stop snowing until like 6.30 p.m. I ended up taking Louie for a walk yesterday because I was sitting on the couch and like my body just started to hurt. And I was like, I haven't moved my body in so long because last week I felt like absolute shit mentally. And then this week was just a weird week 
where I was like sick, but then I wasn't, but then I was, but then I wasn't. So I haven't really moved my body that much. So I got up at like 5.30 and by got up, I made off the couch and I was like, I'm going to go take Louis for you know what, because I need to get moving. So that was great. It was the first time I've walked in a while. And I am like usually pretty strict about walking every day because if I don't walk Louis, he's nuts. But I am getting ready for work. I am heading to the Bronx. I have one quick store I have to go visit in the Bronx and then I'm going to run to our DC quick get something signed and then I'll be done for the day. I forgot to tell you that I am listening to the audiobook of Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun. I don't know if you can see that. I am 74% of the way through. It says I have two hours and 17 minutes left, but I'm listening in 1.65 speed. So I will finish that quicker. So my goal is to finish this audiobook and then I can watch like YouTube videos and whatnot because I do watch YouTube videos while I drive or I watch like TV shows and the new, well, it's not new, the newest season of American Horror Story with Kim Kardashian, the second part finally came out and I really want to watch that, but I also have a million freaking YouTube videos to catch up on, so. And I want to finish this audiobook so I can read the next Finley Donovan book because it just came out in March, I think. So my goal is to finish the Finley Donovan audiobook today before I do any of my youtube -y stuff or watch any type of show or anything, so. That's the goal. I don't know if I'm gonna put makeup on or not. Don't really want to, but I also should. Sometimes like putting a little bit of makeup on just makes you feel so much better and so much more productive. I mean, yeah, I probably will. But I was doing my morning skincare. Figured I'd pop on quick. I'm gonna try not to talk for 10 minutes like I usually do because honestly, I'm doing great. I feel very good. Um, not very good because it did snow yesterday, but like, I feel like the reason why I've been feeling so mentally shitty lately is simply just the weather here. Like, it's so up and down. I feel like New York can't figure out what the hell it wants to do. Like, does it want to be spring or does it want to be, oops, sorry. Or does it want to be winter? Like, it literally just can't decide. I'm using my glowish, excuse me, camera. I'm using my glowish by Huda Booty, what? My Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder in Fair Light. But I think that's part of the problem with me is I'm such a summery, outdoorsy person that like this is killing me to still be stuck inside my house. I was watching old TikToks that I used to make and I'm not really on TikTok anymore. But like sometimes I go scroll through like old videos and whatnot and I was watching videos of me from the summer and I'm so dead. Makes me so sad because I'm so freaking pale now. Like, there's nothing I love more in this world than being tan. Like, legit nothing more that I love than this world than being tan. And sitting in the sun and getting more tan. I know it's not great for your skin, but I don't care. Uh, so, yeah. I was watching those last night. Got really, like, sad because I was so tan in some of them. But I know that time is coming. It's just I'd rather have it be here now rather than later. But then maybe that means we'll have a late, like, summer. Like a longer summer, you know? Probably not. We'll probably have summer for June, July, and then August will be shitty and September will be cold. I also started using a new bronzer because my NARS one ran out. And I've had this and I've loved this because I have this little mini palette. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini by Hourglass. This has a blush, a highlighter, like a setting powder, and a bronzer. But this bronzer is like almost gone. But I love this color bronzer and it is Golden Bronze Light. And they don't sell that in an individual compact, which annoys me. So I found it in this, which is the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 2. This has like two of their ambient lighting powders and then the bronzer in the color that I like. So I literally just swirl this up and use all the colors. But I really do love these, pow these powders and these bronzers. They are so good. They are pricey, but beauty is pricey. So I'm just throwing some of that on. Oh, my head itches. Just... Um, okay, I'm like scroll brain right now. But, um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I get so distracted in these sometimes. Okay. And then I'm using one of my other new faves. This is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in the shade Dusty Rose. It's like a light pink, but it's got a little bit of like a shimmer to it. And I really like these. I put two small little dots and then I put a little dot on my nose and then blend out. How did I just go from talking about mental health to telling you my makeup routine? I have no clue, but, um, okay. So we talked about my audiobook. 
Let's talk about my actual book. I read to a little over the halfway point of The It Girl by Ruth Ware last night. I am loving this book. It is slow paced and I'm kind of like, all right, like if it's gonna be like this the whole time, I'm not gonna like absolutely love and die over this. But like if the, from this point on, if it starts to pick up, like it's gonna be good. And I like the before and after aspect of it. I don't always love spending so much time in like one storyline. Especially when like something happened years ago and we're trying to like figure out what happened. But I'm really liking it. I like the writing style. I don't remember what her writing style was like when I did read Woman in Cabin 10. Because that was so long ago and it was like way before I like actually started really reading. So I don't remember what it was like. I don't know if it's like the same as that or not. But I do remember the Woman in Cabin 10 being like pretty intense from the beginning. I should probably reread that book. I should go to my library and see if they have that. Oh my god, I said I wasn't going to sit here and talk for 10 minutes. This is a 7 minute clip. Okay, I'll be back later. home from work. I am struggling right now. My stomach is killing me. When I said that I had like a 12 hour freaking flu or something on, it had to have been Tuesday. Louise outside barking. It started with like being really nauseous and thinking I was going to throw up. And since that point that has been happening sporadically like here and there. And today is one of those days that I just like, no matter what I do, it feels like there's like an air bubble at the top of my stomach that just needs to be popped and it hurts so bad. I'm just, I'm not feeling great. But I have some very exciting mail from Coffee and Goodreads, which if you don't remember me talking about it, I was saying that I recently became a brand ambassador for them and I showed you my mushroom mug from last week. But I think what's in these two packages, specifically probably this one is where, I, no, it's definitely this one. You guys, you're gonna die. Are you ready? So if you didn't know, Coffee and Goodreads is an online small business, bookish themed. It's not necessarily all bookish themed. She also has apparel and she just added something really cute to her shop. So wait till you guys see this. I'm gonna open up this first because this, I can't wait. This is a cup, but it's not bookish themed, but also like, so freaking cute. So it says coffee, coffee, coffee. I don't know if you're gonna see this. Maybe if I put this behind it. Like, look at how cute this is. It just says coffee in different neutral tones. And, oh, I didn't even realize this. Oh, and coffee is a little smiley face. How freaking cute is that? I can't wait to make my coffee in that tomorrow. Or maybe we'll make another one today, but I don't think that's a smart idea. But this, I don't know which I'm most excited for. When I originally found her, I saw this sweatshirt and really wanted to get it, but didn't for some reason. Look at this freaking sweatshirt, you guys. It says, Fueled by Coffee and Goodreads, and it's got a little bookshelf, a little coffee thing, a plant, and some books. How fucking cute is this? And it's a gray. I got it in a 2XL, so it's like super oversized, and it's embroidered. I am so obsessed with this. I'm not going to unfold it. I don't know how the hell she folded it like this, but I'm going to keep it like this so I can take a picture. I can't wait to wear that. I was going to change into it instantly when I got home, but I don't know if I'm the only one that's like this, but like when I don't feel good, I don't like to wear like <laughs> my good comfies. Like I like to wear stuff that is like just ridiculously comfortable, but isn't the cutest. Like this is, I mean, I wore this to work because it's Friday and we can kind of dress down. But this is like super loose and super like not, like I don't care if it gets germs on it, you know? I don't think any of that made sense. Okay, this is what I think I'm most excited for. You guys are gonna freaking die when you see this. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm obsessing over bows right now. So just wait till you see this. So they're bubble wrapped in here. When she, she gave us like a little sneak preview of what these were. And the second I saw it, I was like, okay, I need to know exactly when those go on sale so I can order them. Oh my God, they're so cute in person. Packaging on these is A1 because they did not come broken. Oh my God, I don't know how to best show you guys these. Look at these freaking straws. They have freaking bows on them. How fucking cute. 
This one's more of like an opaque pink, whereas this one's more of like a clear pink. But look it! Oh my god, I am so obsessed with these. The second she told us that she was putting these up for sale on her website, I was like, yep, I'm buying those. And they're glass straws, which are like my favorite. So I'm excited for all those things. I think I'm going to go take a picture of it right now and prep it to go on Instagram next week. I think I gave you a brief reading update. I didn't think I told you what page I'm on. I'm on page 213. I am a little more than halfway through. I'm gonna keep reading today. Oh my gosh, sorry. Sometimes when I'm sick, like I just can't read. I don't know what it is, but it's not that I'm sick. It's just my stomach. Like every time I put food into it, it just like feels like I have so many gas bubbles and just air bubbles in my stomach and it just, I don't get it. What I really think I'm gonna do right now is go make myself my greens from Clean Simple Eats and see if that helps kind of clear things out because I think that's part of the problem too. I'm gonna go take a picture of those things, make some greens, and then probably get some reading done. It is Friday, thank freaking God. I need to be able to just like chill tomorrow morning. Um, this weekend is actually mine and Chris's one year wedding anniversary, which is insane to me. Our actual anniversary is April 7th, so Sunday. And tomorrow we're going to this nice resort near us called the Sagamore. It's up in Lake George. Um, and we're staying overnight just for a night just to like kind of get away. We didn't want to do just like a basic hotel. And if you live in upstate New York, you know that the Sagamore is a really nice area. And it's very like old and historic and just beautiful. And it's right on the lake. I wish it was a little bit warmer, but it's fine. We got a really cute room that has... Uh, like a little living room with a fireplace and then it has a, like a little balcony Which we're not gonna be there for that long, but again, it's our one year wedding anniversary So we're like fuck it. Let's get like a really nice room and I can't wait to sit on the couch tomorrow night watch a movie after we go to dinner and I cannot wait to wake up Sunday morning and maybe have a coffee and read on the balcony, but I'll probably record little glimpses here and there, but we'll probably won't record that much because Chris and I like our time and I don't like to record during that. I think I'm gonna go take a shot of Pepto too. I think I have some heartburn. I'm just struggling. My freaking stomach is just killing me. So I think I'm gonna go take a shot of Pepto, make my greens, take a picture of these goodies from Coffee and Goodreads. If you want to shop Coffee and Goodreads, you can use my code Alexi15. I will leave it below. And that just gets you 15% off your order. Definitely check it out. It's like one of my favorite small businesses that's bookish themed. I just, and I love the owner and she's just so cute. So. And she's a local New Yorker, even though she lives in like Long Island, but New York is New York, am I right? So, all right, I'm gonna go figure out what's going on with my stomach and hopefully do something to make myself feel better. Making this for dinner because my head is killing me and I mean, it's probably not gonna be great for my stomach, but since drinking my greens, it's been better. I'm also too lazy to make myself real food, so we're going with this. dinner is served and this dog is begging you just ate your own food you little fatty you just had your own food do you want ice cream do you want your ice cream okay let's go get you an ice cream this is the weirdest thing about my dog is he loves when you do this with his ice creams ready and you send it down to him. He like loves it, I don't get it. <laughs> okay, I have SpongeBob playing in the background. I'm gonna mute it for a second so we can chat. Let's try this mac and cheese, I'm interested. I mean, it's not Kraft mac and cheese, but it's not bad. It does the job, let's just put it that way. I'd be lying to you if I said I've read anything or pretty much done anything of any type of substance, but I haven't. From the last time I updated you, I started to get a dull ache in my head, which is never good for me because I suffer from chronic migraines. So I started drinking a lot of water and then I went to Target because Chris needed his sleep gummies and I needed a couple other things. And they needed to get bones for Louie, so I did that. Came back, rotted on the couch for a little bit. Then I just obviously made my dinner, which is legit just mac and cheese, so hashtag girl dinner. And now I'm sitting on the couch, gonna watch SpongeBob and hopefully get some reading done. 
I just get so nervous when I feel like even a little dull ache in my head because I hate getting migraines. With the migraines that I get, I have to take a pretty strong medicine. It's the type of medicine where I can't take more than two pills in one week. So I always get nervous taking it because I'm like, okay, if I take it now, then I can really only take it one other time. And I try to only take it when I know it's going to be a bad migraine. And this one, I don't think it's a bad migraine. I think it's just, I'm tired. I didn't, I haven't been drinking enough water today. Like I think it's all that. So I've been forcing myself to drink a lot of water. I took Tylenol Extra Strength, hoping that will help. And then I'm going to put my little headache hat on. I'm riding on the couch, and I'm going to continue to ride on the couch. Chris went to the gym after work, so he should be home in like a half hour, 45 minutes. And then I think we're probably legit just going to do what I'm doing right now, which is ride on the couch. He'll probably come home, watch Supergirl, and I'll sit and read my book, which is our routine and the, our favorite thing to do. And that'll be our Friday night. He's going to wake up, go to the gym. I'm going to wake up, take Louie for you know what. And then we're going to get our shit together and head out to Lake George to celebrate our one year wedding anniversary, which is so just crazy to say. It's a wild Friday night in this house. Saturday afternoon at 12:45. We are in the process of getting ready to head up to Lake George for the afternoon. But I got my book of the month package and I wanted to open it with you guys on camera. Oh my god, is my address showing? Oh my god, I'm sweating. I have to take this off. I'm sorry. I'm wearing my new coffee and goodreads sweatshirt, but I'm sweating because I just got out of the shower. And I get such bad shower sweats. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I know you guys already know pretty much what I got in this box because I talked about it in my last Days of My Life vlog. And I was talking about how I originally placed my order and then I realized that a book that I really want was a recent add-on and how Book of the Month will let me cancel my order and then resubmit it. So let's talk about the four books I got this month. The first one is The Husbands by Holly Gramazio. I have no idea. This is like a contemporary fiction that basically a woman comes home one day and she has like a husband and a whole ass life and she's like, uh, I don't remember that. And then he goes upstairs to change a light bulb in their attic and then a different husband and a different life comes down with it and it just kind of keeps going about that. This says, this brilliantly explores how we navigate life, love, and choice in a world of never ending options. Honestly, I might bring this with me to mine and Chris's trip in case I finish The It Girl by Ruth Ware, but this just sounded so good and like something I've never read before, so had to get this. My very first pick was Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I think this is the third book to the Part of Your World series. It says four dates, a kiss, and a breakup. That's all it will take. That's all it will take to find their soulmate. When it comes to love, Emma is cursed. Every guy she dates finds his true love after they break up, but it turns out she's not the only one afflicted with this condition. His name is Justin, and his Reddit thread about being loves. <laughs> Good luck charm has gone viral. Now the two have come up with an ingenious plan. If they date each other, their curses will cancel out and they, they'll go on to find their soulmate. Only Justin wasn't supposed to be so unbelievably cute and hilarious. But when Emma's toxic mother shows up and Justin has to assume guardianship of his three siblings, they're suddenly navigating a lot more than they were expecting, including catching real feelings. Has fate finally brought the perfect pair together or, were the, or will their cure be way more hazardous than the curse itself? I thought this was like, I think there's innuendos of part of your world and yours truly in this book and like characters are pulled from those. So very excited to read this. This is her newest release and I just, I love this cover. I'll probably read this maybe next month, which will be May or in beginning of June because obviously summer. It's the second book I got. Another add-on I got is Bye Baby by Carola Lovering. I think this is a thriller. It says every friendship has its shadows. It says on a brisk fall night in a New York apartment, 35 year old Billy West, oh god, this is the same last name as me, hears terrified screams. It's her long life best friend, Cassie Barnwell, one floor above, and she's just realized her infant daughter is missing. And I think it shakes their friendship and some crazy shit comes out, but I don't know. I don't know why I've been so drawn to this book when this was a book of the month choice, because I think it was for one month. I don't even remember. But I was like, hmm, that sounds good, but I didn't end up getting it. And then I kept seeing it in bookstores and I was like, hmm, I want that. So got that as an add-on this year. And then the last book in this box is the, is the infamous book that made me have to cancel my order and reorder. And that is Daughter of Mine by Megan Miranda. This is her newest thriller. 
says the discovery of the first car was a shock. The second car was a pattern, a warning, and the key to a decades-old mystery that may be better off left to the past. Mirror Lake, nestled in the mountains of North Carolina, is a beautiful waterfront community where neighbors know neighbors, family businesses are the norm, and the small-town way of life seems to go on year after year uninterrupted. When the long-serving detective dies suddenly, his daughter Hazel Sharp returns home after nearly 10 years away, wary of the place and people she's left behind. But Hazel isn't the only relic of the past to resurface. A drought has descended on the region, and as the water level on the lake drops, Long hidden secrets begin to emerge. Soon Hazel finds evidence that may finally explain what happened to her mother, who disappeared when Hazel was a teenager, taking the family savings with her. But unearthing the mysteries of the past sets Hazel on a dangerous search to uncover the truth buried at the heart of her hometown and maybe even her family. Another gripping novel from the master of suspense, Megan Miranda, Daughter of Mine, is a chilling mystery that will keep you compulsively turning its pages to discover what lurks beneath the surface. So... As you know, or don't know, I just finished Widow Hills by Megan Miranda and did not love it at all, so I'm a little skeptical going into that, but every other Megan Miranda book I've read, I've loved, so. And then the bookmark says, page, what does it say? Page is just a number. <laughs> love that, so. That's my little book of the month haul. I got four books this month. I think that's the most I've ever gotten in a box before. I usually get, like, two, maybe three. But this month they just had such good books. So that's my little book of the month haul. Very excited to read all of these. And yeah. These are probably ones that I have been the most excited for when it comes to book of the month. Like the husbands just sound so good. I think I might bring this with me. I am going to go use my little Revlon round brush thing to dry my hair. I'm not going to put makeup on because I, I want to do it like right before we go to dinner. And I think our dinner reservation is at like 7.30. I have like a lingering mild headache like way behind my eyeballs and i'm trying to figure out what to do i took tylenol this morning but maybe i'll take excedra migraine because i want to zap it i don't want to feel like shit i'm mining this is like almost one year anniversary so i'm gonna go upstairs do my hair finish packing and then we will be on our way to lake george Sorry if you can hear Chris's music, but I'm popping in because I forgot to mention that you can get your first book of the month book for only five freaking dollars. If you use the link in my description box, it's not an affiliate code. I don't work with them. They don't sponsor me, but I'm shooting my shot here. I'm trying to be sponsored by book of the month, but if you use the link in my description box, you get your first book for only five dollars and I get a credit to use, but seriously, love book of the month. $5 for a new hardcover book and most of them are uh, new releases like the Abby Jimenez and Mega Miranda were both brand new releases and those books haven't even come out yet into stores and I already have them in my possession so definitely worth it check it out and if you do decide to sign up use my link in my description box all right I'm back I am sitting relaxing having my leftover mac and cheese from yesterday my stomach is feeling a little bit better I think the greens somewhat worked feeling a lot better today I just took a visit trip in for my headache because I really don't want it to get worse and that's like the only thing that zaps my headache so took that packed now I'm just waiting for Chris to be ready and then we're gonna be off to celebrate our one-year wedding anniversary it's so crazy that we've been married for a year tomorrow which just blows my mind feels like it was literally like a couple months ago that we got married but I would love to relive my wedding day forever and ever because it was so much fun like so much fun not sure what i'll get recorded this weekend but i'll throw some b-roll in if i can we'll see but if not i'll probably see you either sunday night or monday morning
Believe it or not, it is actually now Tuesday, April 9th. I'm getting ready to head out for work. And the reason I did not come back at all this past weekend or yesterday is because I... Obviously, Chris and I went to Lake George this past weekend, Saturday to Sunday, to celebrate our one-year wedding anniversary. So I knew I wasn't going to be filming a ton while we were there. We had so much fun in Lake George. It was just a very chill little getaway so we got there actually we left went to stopped in saratoga which was kind of like the halfway point we had lunch up there went to a bookstore and then after that we just went straight to the resort we were staying at hung out there for a little bit got settled watched some of the men's uh what the heck is it called not sweet 16. final four basketball game and then we went to a really nice dinner Came back, chilled, went to bed pretty early because we're freaking old now. And then Sunday morning, we slept in. It was great. We slept, we stayed in these like, I don't know how to describe it. It's called, they're called the uh, Maj. Chris and I were all saying like, oh damn, like we should have came for an extra night so we could really enjoy it. We had the cutest little like couch. We had a really pretty fireplace and just like the most spectacular view. I wish it was warmer when we went up on Saturday. It was freaking cold and windy and obviously you're right on the water so it's even colder. We didn't get to use the cute little balcony that we had just because it was way too cold and way too windy. We went to dinner Saturday night, woke up, chilled, and then we stopped in the actual town of Lake George to have breakfast and then we actually went to the Lake George outlets to do some shopping. And then we came home, hung out on the couch for a little bit and then we actually went to dinner with our parents at the venue we got married at a year ago called the Desmond in Albany. It was so much fun. It was so cool to like go back to where we got married a year ago and just enjoy it. We've gone back to the place we've gotten married at multiple times because it's like a hotel wedding venue and they have their own restaurant like the Desmond. If you live in Albany it's like the most beautiful place in the world and they have like their own little restaurant in there so we've gone and eaten at that restaurant multiple times because we just love it and they love their food so did that when we were driving home on sunday i just started to get this like dull throbbing headache and it didn't go away and yesterday morning the reason why i didn't pick up the camera yesterday was because i had a pulsating headache all day yesterday actually that was a lie. It wasn't really like a pulsating headache it was more so just like tightness and tension in my head and it was killing me and so yesterday I went to work and then I came home and obviously the solar eclipse happened yesterday. So my mom's best friend is a science teacher and they were going over to her house to watch it. So on my way home, I stopped at her house to watch the solar eclipse. I like missed it pretty much the entire thing because I didn't get to her house till like 3.30. Then after that, her grandson was over, so we were playing with him and whatnot and just kind of hanging out. And then I got home at like six, took Louie for a walk, and then just chilled with Chris for the rest of the day. So that's where we are now. It's now Tuesday, I'm getting ready for work. And headaches just knock me out. Like not even headaches, just migraines in general. Like they're just so exhausting. <laughs> and people think I'm so dramatic when I say that. I'm like, look, until you've had, more than one migraine and you've had a migraine every month i don't want to fucking hear it because having one migraine like yeah you'll be fine you'll live through it but when you deal with them like chronically like i do they knock you on your ass like and i have learned to function through them which is obviously not great that i can do that because they do really fucking hurt but i've had them for so long like i've had migraines pretty much on a monthly basis since my other day uh, like my sophomore year, maybe junior year of high school. Like it's been almost 10 years that I've been, actually it has been 10 years since I've been dealing with migraines. So it's like, I'm not used to them, but I know how to handle them and I know I can function through them if I do the right things, AKA medicate, put ice on my head. But obviously if I'm working, I can't always just like sit with an ice pack on my head, but I have learned not to care about what I look like when I'm driving and I will legit bring my headache hat with me driving or I will bring like my little migraine patches in my car because I'm like, is the pain worth caring what somebody driving past me thinks? Like, no, I'm probably never gonna see them again. I don't know who they are. They don't know who I am. I have tinted windows too, so they can't really see in my car. So I literally am like, I don't give a fuck. I will drive with my headache hat on or my headache patches, so. Yeah, that was fun, but I am feeling much better today, thank God. 
If I had woken up with another migraine today, I probably would have had to message my doctor and been like, what the heck is going on? I have also been doing absolutely terrible with videos this month, and I am so sorry. I've only been posting like one a month in there. I mean, one a week, and they're only life, like daily vlogs, so very sorry. But I just like, every time I had time to film like a sit down video for like Mondays, I just could not. Like on Friday, I really wanted to film my quarter one reading wrap up and I just like couldn't mentally like I just I was tired my head was killing me like I said I had a I pretty much had a headache all weekend which is not fun but I just like could not do it and I was like you know what I'd rather not put out content than put out content that sucks because if I did have to force myself to film that it wouldn't have been great and the quarter one wrap up it's going to be a lot of talking so I wanted to like be short and sweet and I feel like if I didn't like feel my best I probably wouldn't do a great video also today is the first day that I can shop the Sephora sale and for some reason my phone is not letting me check out I don't know why it keeps saying something about my address and then when I click to see like the recommended changes they want to make it just goes straight back to my cart so I think once I'm done getting dressed I'm gonna have to try to check out on my laptop maybe because there's a couple things I want to buy nothing too crazy because I don't want to spend that much money and I honestly like I wear makeup on a daily basis, but I have my routine down stat. I just like don't need extra stuff. There's a couple things that I want, but they're like realistic purchases. So that's all the makeup I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna throw some dry shampoo in my hair using the Baptiste, Baptiste dry shampoo in the tropical scent. This is my favorite. This is like the only dry shampoo I use. Like everybody uses like the Amica or the Living Proof. The bat Batiste is my favorite and it's the cheapest. And I love the tropical scent. It smells so good, like coconuts and sunscreen and summer. Oh, awesome. So I've been talking a lot about the weather and how it's been like depressing and whatnot. And I don't know if it's gonna last, but yesterday it was in like the high 50s, 60s and Today it's supposed to be even like better and warmer, so things are looking up here, but I have a feeling if the warm weather is not gonna last. I think it's supposed to be nice today, yesterday and today, and then for the rest of the week it's supposed to freaking rain. Yep, so it says today the high is gonna be 72. So if that doesn't show you the drastic changes New York weather goes through, it's, I don't know what will, because last Thursday it was raining. Now, today on Tuesday, it's fucking 72 degrees. That just doesn't make sense. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are going to rain. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are going to rain and be in the 60s. That sucks. <sighs> At least the weekend's going to be nice-ish. Saturday's going to be 52. Sunday, it's going to be 60. So, ugh. I hate rain. I hate it so much. Okay, I'm going to go get dressed, head out for work, and then I'll be back when I get back from work. Okay, hello, friends. I am home from work, and I realized I didn't give you a reading update this morning, but I also was kind of pressed for time, so no duh. I finished the audiobook for Finley Donovan Jumps a Gun. This is the third book in the Finley Donovan series. And originally when I read this, I gave it three stars, but I love the audiobook of this. And I have realized that I like the audiobooks for these better than reading them physically. So I did bump up my rating to a four star. And I was going to start the fourth book of this today and read it physically, but I think I want to wait for the audiobook or maybe see if I can buy the audiobook for cheap somewhere. Because I enjoyed the audiobook experience of these so much more than I do physically reading them simply because I just love the narrator who does it and I don't know they're just more fun via audio so we'll see what we do with book four. I also finished The It Girl by Ruth Ware yesterday and this sucked. <laughs> I don't know why or how people love this like I was looking at Goodreads review and a lot of people love this and I was like but why? Like this is a 420 page book for no fucking reason. And the first half of this, I was loving it. When it was going between before and after the incident, I was so into it and I was reading it so quickly. And then the befores like stopped because you figured out like what happened and what led up to the murder. It was just like after and from that point on, it sucked. And the ending, I was like, really? That's why this person killed her over something like that stupid? Like I read it and I was like, that's how we're gonna end this? that was not worth killing for. So gave that two stars. I was going to give it one star, but 
The first half was so good that I gave it two stars. So. And then today I started the audiobook for The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. This is on my 24 and 2024 books. I'm really enjoying this. I'm 44% through this. Let me see if I can find my page number. Pull up the audiobook and see what page I'm on. There's like no uh, chapter numbers. Like it doesn't say chapter 10, Hank. So I have no idea where I would be in this. I'm not even going to try to figure out what page number I'm on this, but... This is actually a really cool concept. It's basically about the world as a whole. One day everybody wakes up and they have this little wooden box that has a little string in it that determines how long your life is gonna at last. So if you have a short string, you're gonna die soon. If you have a long string, you're gonna live a long time. And then as time goes on, people start to like research this and they get like, somebody develops like a calculator like you put in how long your string is and it gives you a roundabout time of like when you're gonna die so it gives you like a two year like plus or minus two years from this age and it just talks it goes from different perspectives from different people and how they're kind of like coping with the news of what their string told them about them specifically and it's really cool I am enjoying it and it's definitely very interesting I like that it's going from different perspectives so you're not stuck in one storyline bored out of your mind and I'm really liking this. I don't think it's going to be like a five-star favorite, but I am really enjoying it. And then, like I said, I thought I was going to start the fourth Finley Donovan book physically. But let me see if I can buy the audiobook and if I can't. Because I'm in line through Libby, but it says it's going to be a 14-week wait. And honestly, I don't want to wait 14 weeks. But let's see how expensive it is on Apple Books. $14.99. We'll see. I'll give it another like week or two because it said that my library has acquired additional copies. So we'll see. I don't really want to spend $14.99 on a book that I already paid full price for. So, but I think I'm going to try to redeem myself with thrillers because the last two books I physically read were thrillers and I dislike both of them. So we're going to read The Secrets of Us by Lucinda Berry. This was one of my TBR jar prompt picks for April. And Lucinda Berry never fails. She writes super fast paced, fucked up thrillers that have no fluff in them. Like Ruth where the it girl was all fluff. Whereas this one's probably going to freaking blow my mind. We're going to read a Lucinda Berry and hope that third time is the charm with thrillers. Foster sisters, Crystal and Nicole have always been there for each other. So when Nicole is committed to a psychiatric hospital after trying to kill her husband, Crystal drops everything to defend her. Scarred by a hard upbringing, Nicole and Crystal managed to construct comfortable lives for themselves. Crystal has become a respected lawyer and Nicole was happily married to an architect until Nicole started raving that her husband isn't her husband believing that he's an imposter. Driven by fierce loyalty, Crystal starts asking questions, but she's not sure she can bear the answers. Her investigation leads to the sister's dark shared past to a horrible tragedy and a well-guarded lie that cemented their sisterly bond. But that lie can't kill the truth. Sorry. Got spooked because somebody rang our front door, but it's the guy that fertilizes our grass, making sure we're doing it this year. Anyways, the last part of this is, but that lie can't kill the truth. The battered, gasping, clawing truth that's coming for them both. Now Crystal and Nicole most, must both fight for their lives they built before they, before they're consumed by the one they left behind. So hoping that this one redeems the last shitty two I've read. So we're going to start that today. But I'm going to go change because my mom and I are going to get pedicures right now. Then I'm going to come home and probably sit in my gazebo and read because it's like 65 degrees right now. And the next three days it's supposed to rain. So I want to sit outside while I can. I will be back later. Hopefully outside reading in my gazebo. Hello vlog. I, what did I do? Um, I can't I think right now. So it is now Wednesday afternoon. I just got home from work. It's 4.30 and I was gonna record myself today but I ended up filming a little bonus video for you guys which has already been posted so make sure to go watch it. It's like a little day date of me taking myself to Barnes and Noble, doing some book shopping and getting some work done in the cafe there. I had to go to Poughkeepsie today for work which means only one thing, my favorite Barnes & Noble is there. So I went to the Barnes & Noble there to get some work done after I finished like my actual work for the day. And I know I've been really, 
<laughs> I know I've been really shitty with uploading consistently the last couple weeks, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go there, film a separate video of me like book shopping and then doing some work in the cafe and I'll post a bonus video. So that was posted on Thursday, so make sure to go check that out. I decided that this video is gonna be posted on Saturday the 13th because there's no way I'm gonna have it done and edited by tonight, which is Wednesday, and have it posted by Thursday. So we're gonna swap the two. Thank God I did do that and go to Barnes & Noble and take myself on a little date, but my DJI camera is charging right now and that's where a majority of the clips are for this Days of My Life vlog and then the book shopping Barnes & Noble date vlog. But I have a couple things that I wanna show you. I have three different little hauls, one being the book haul from Barnes & Noble today, which I'm just gonna tell you the books I got quickly and if you want to see more details sorry there was a bunny <laughs> a bunny just came out from under our gazebo um but if you want to see me talk about these books in more detail and read you the synopsis for all of them go check out the barnes and noble vlog the last one that i posted and you can see it there the first book i got is wild love by elsie silver this will be my first time reading elsie silver and we'll talk about my reading update in a second I also got A Door in the Dark by Scott Reddington or something. Rained? I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try. Okay, you can't even see. Great. This one gives Harry Potter meets the 100 vibes. So, and then I got a new romanticy, How Does It Feel by Jeannie, Jean, Janine O'Reilly. I have no idea. This is the first book in the Infatuated Fate series. So, if you want to see me talk about these three books, go watch the Come on a Day Date with me to Barnes & Noble or whatever the hell I'm going to name it. After I left Barnes & Noble today, I checked Ulta really quick because there was one thing that I wanted from the Sephora sale that I didn't get and they didn't have it in the Sephora that I went to yesterday. So I was like, let me check Ulta, see if they have it and I could use points. And I went on the app and realized that Ulta's like spring haul is happening right now. So a lot of their like drugstore, skincare, hair care, body care, all the good stuff is on sale. So I bought a couple things. The first one's being some new shampoo and conditioner that I want to try. I used to use Maui Moisture a lot when I did work at Ulta, but I got their Scalp Care Clarifying Shampoo with Apple Cider Vinegar. So I have been into using like a scalp scrub the last couple months. I have one from Briogeo, but I think it's like going bad and I just don't like it. So I decided to pick this up because I've been really good about washing my hair only once a week and it seems like that's helping it grow and become really healthy and really strong in addition to not dyeing my hair as much as I used to. So my new obsession is using like a scalp care detoxing shampoo so I can get all the gunk off my scalp and then using a hydrating sh conditioner. This is the also Maui Moisture Lightweight Hydration and Hibiscus Water Conditioner. This is just, I don't know, I love to, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the packaging kind of got me with like this bright pink, but I also wanted something that moisturizes my hair without like weighing it down, down and making it feel super like heavy. And this just, this hibiscus water smells so good. So I got to those. The next thing I got is really boring. It's just a Real Techniques uh, expert face brush. I have a order coming from Sephora, from the Sephora like semi-annual whatever sale event. I got a new cream blush that one of my favorite beauty YouTubers recommended and she uses this, this brush with it. So this was also on sale, so I grabbed that. That's kind of boring. <laughs> and then, this is actually kind of a boring haul. Not like that much stuff, but. I don't really buy makeup like that anymore. I got a new liquid eyeliner because the one I use is like ridiculously old. And I don't really wear eyeliner that much, but I got the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Just a liquid eyeliner. I love the Physician's Formula, like I don't even know what it's called, eye boost or something. But that one's probably really old and I should throw it out. But this is the thing I'm most excited for. When I walked into Ulta today, this is the first thing I saw. It's called the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. It's like a cream to powder bronzer and I swatched it and I was like, this is totally like coming home with me. And they must have like just put it out today because they had every single shade in stock, which is kind of rare for new releases. I feel like they never have every single thing in stock. And this formula just felt so interesting. It feels like a cream, but then when you blend it in, it goes to a powder. I also love this packaging. Like look at how cute this packaging is. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. And then it opens. And you have your little bronzer. This is the shade BMB03 Deserve Butter. Literally, like, so it feels like a cream. And then as it blends in, 
it like melts into a powder like it is the coolest thing and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell like it's got a little bit of a sheen to it but it is so freaking pretty and the texture I just can't even describe it it's so cool so that's what a close-up of it. Just a little more on the cooler tone side. You know what? I could probably add a little. And then I got the brush that goes with it. This is the... I don't even know what this is. I don't even think it has a name, but it's the little brush that comes with it. Let's, let's add some. Why not? My skin is glowing today, and I'm, like, kind of loving it. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a powder. Oh, my God. It smells good. It literally smells like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but a little different. Okay. That looks pretty. I don't know. I think the lighting is a little too bright in this little spot that I'm filming in right now. I like this brush, actually. I was a little hesitant about getting the brush, but with the sale, NYX was buy two, get one free. So I was just like, you know what? I'll just get the brush because clearly they recommend you use it with it. Let's add on my neck. I've also been thinking about doing like a get ready with me while I talk books or something or like Q&A because I worked at Ulta for three years and I got my love for YouTube through like makeup. I started watching YouTube videos, like makeup tutorials years ago, like probably 12 years ago at this point. Makeup is where like my passion for like being on YouTube and everything started. So I've been thinking about doing a like get ready with me video where I do my makeup as I would for like, more than just a regular day like what I do for work more than that and talking about like my favorite products but also talking about like books and my life and giving you life updates so if you want to see that video let me know give me some questions in the comments below and I will answer them and we'll get that filmed but I'm very excited to keep using this I love this brush I don't know what it is it's so soft and I love the handle but really like this so far even though I just used it one time but I can pretty much tell if I'm gonna like any type of makeup product right away because being in the industry for so long you like know what you like and what you don't like but all right so that's my little makeup haul and then i have a timu haul oh it's wet this is super exciting because i got an email from timu asking if i wanted to join their like influencer program almost i guess and it's kind of similar to like amazon where if you purchase anything through my link i make a small commission Actually, it's not really a commission. I get like money towards Timu purchases. And I accept it, obviously. So I think the link below is for new users only. I'm not 100% sure. I still gotta like figure it out because I'm a little confused on how it works. But if you want to shop any of these products, I will be leaving all the links below. And if you know anything or you've watched my videos for a while, try to not talk over this. I have ordered from Timu in the past and I love their stuff. I love Timu. Everything I've gotten from them, I've absolutely loved. My favorite thing to get from Timu is like travel bags and stuff like that. My little perfume holder upstairs is from Timu. I have slippers from Timu. I have pretty much all my like toiletry bags are from Timu at this point. So let's go over what I got. The first thing I got is a repurchase because I ordered a coffee cup from Timu a while ago and I don't know what happened but somehow it broke just from me putting a knife like in it like I filled it with water and I had a knife that I used and I was gonna let it soak and literally the knife like went through the cup so I was like well I need another one because I love the cup so this is the cup it's just a really nice coffee cup with like a little wave to it i absolutely love this i'm probably gonna make a second cup of coffee right now so i can use that oh oh my god i forgot i got this i'm so excited for this so i have seen so many people using cups like this for like their greens or like energy drinks and it's just a clear like tumbler with a lid and it's glass obviously as you can hear and it comes with a straw like how cute is this for my greens? Like, I'm gonna be using this for my greens every freaking day. I should have ordered more. So now that I know that I like it and it's like the size that I want and I like it, I can definitely order more and I definitely will be. The next three things I have here are bags because like I said, there's nothing I love more than Timu's bags, especially for like traveling. The first one I got is this really cute one that has chenille, chenille patches, I think they're called, and it says sun. 
I love sh traveling with my own sunscreen. Like anytime I go somewhere warm, I bring my own sunscreen because I'm a freak. So I love that this is like a waterproof material, but look at how freaking cute this is. I'm slowly upgrading all of my travel bags for this, like to have the same vibe. I did get in my last Timu haul, which you would have seen in some sort of weekly vlog. I don't even remember which one at this point. It was a while ago. I got a really big travel bag that literally just said travel in these patches. And then I also have one that like folds out and it says stuff that I absolutely love. So when I saw this one, I was like, yup, that's perfect for all my sunscreens because the one I'm using now is way too tiny and I definitely needed something bigger like this. This I'm so excited for. If you have been watching me for a while, you know that I currently have an obsession with bows. So when I saw this little bag with bows on it, I was like, oh, that is so me. Like, I love this bag. This bag that holds all my like equipment for my laptop and editing stuff is from Timu. And I just, I love stuff like this because you can just throw things in and have everything already together. But how cute! How freaking cute are these damn bows? Like, I love this. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I absolutely love this. And I love buying stuff like that from Timu because they are just, they're not like the world's best quality, but they're durable and they last. And for the price, it's like, why wouldn't I buy it off Timu? This next thing I have is a bag, but this is a bigger one. And this is like perfect for like, if I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop or like go to a friend's house or go to my hairdresser's, like, it's just a really cute knit checkered bag. It's so cute and it's like floppy and checkered. Louis likes it too. Like stuff like this I love buying from Timu. Like this was like $10 or less I think. Louis inspecting. All clear? Yeah, okay. And yeah, I just, I love this. I'm into the checkered vibes right now. Like can you tell I like checkered stuff? So I love using these bags when I'm like just going out and about and just need something quick and cute and casual. And then the last thing I'm so excited about are these little clips, but they're bow clips. Like how freaking cute are these? And then I got, it came in a two pack, so you get a tan one and a white one. Like I said, I'm obsessing over bows right now. So like, let's see what this would look like. I just wanted to like pull up half my hair. Oh, my hands just like don't want to work today. Like how cute is this? Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Like how cute. I thought these were just adorable because Obviously, I've been saying that I love bows and I just could not resist these clips. I just think they are so freaking cute. So, that's my little Timu haul. If you wanna buy any of these items that you saw in this haul today, use the links down in my description box. They are not paying me to say this, but they did send this stuff to me. If you do purchase through my links, I get a little bit of a commission towards another Timu purchase, so. It would be in the world to me if you would use my links and you can use the other link to download the app and you'll get 20% off your first order if you're a new user. So if you do so, you'll be supporting my channel and I would just absolutely love that. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I really need to start editing it and I honestly cannot remember when I started this video. I know it was last week, I just can't remember if it was Wednesday or Thursday so I'm sure it's already very long at this point and I just need to like cut it here so I can start editing but Okay, wait, I'm back. I forgot to give you a reading update. So the last time I told you anything reading related, I told you that I was starting The Secrets of Us by Lucinda Berry. And I'm just, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling any books really. Like I really don't want to sit down and read anything at all, which is not great. I think it's because I don't want a thriller that's gonna, actually I don't want any kind of read that's gonna take too much brain power and too much of me like remembering little details for later on in the story. Like I just, don't think I'm at that point right now. I'm like coming back and rebounding from my period last week and having like a mental breakdown last week. So I think I need something that's like mindless and easy, but also like adorable, cute romance spice. So I'm going to pick up Wild Love by Elsie Silver because I think this is just gonna be what my brain needs. Like I really think this is what my brain needs right now instead of something like this. So we're gonna put her down for now and we're gonna pick up Wild Love by Elsie Silver. This will probably be in next week's vlog. It's either gonna be a reading vlog or a days of my life vlog. I'm hoping to do a reading for 24 hours challenge. Not actually reading for 24 hours straight but seeing how long it takes me to read for 24 hours. So setting a timer for 24 hours and like starting it and stopping it every time I read. So you'll probably see this in that video next Thursday. But if not, make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see all my thoughts. But I'm officially putting this down for now because I'm just not in the mood. I have been in a reading slump so bad for the last like two weeks and I just, 
I think I just need something easy that maybe will make me cry, make me happy, add a little spice to my life, and yeah, so we're gonna pick up Elsie Silver. Now, cue the outro. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for bearing with me while I've been sporadic with my posting. I swear I'm gonna get better. And I have this week's videos planned. I have next week's video, one filmed, and then I'm gonna do some sort of reading vlog or something next week on Thursday and then hopefully we will be back to our regular scheduled Mondays and Thursday uploads. So if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.